Hey, how's it going? So if you're going to use the green fabric as well, there is some prep work before sewing. I chose not to do it because I didn't feel like it. So when you cut your pattern on the green fabric, you cannot do it on two layers like you normally would do. So I did cut all on one layer, one by one. Of course you cannot use your fabric scissors, take scissors that you use for everything. I used pins to keep the patterns into place. The first step is to sew the darts of the front bodice. Then place the back bodice on top of the front bodice and sew the shoulder and side seams together. Now sew the side seam of the sleeve and attach it to the armhole. Line up the seam before you attach the sleeve. Double check if you have the correct sleeve because you don't want your sleeve to sew in backwards. For the lining fabric, repeat the same steps as she did for the main fabric. Next, turn the bodice inside out, place it over the lining so they are right side to right side, and then line it up so that everything matches. Once done, sew all the way around the neckline. Now it's time to understage. This is to prevent the lining from rolling out. It's not my favorite thing to do, but it has to be done for a clean finish. Clip the corner. You can use spray check for the edges. Now go in with your hand between the lining and the main fabric. Wrap both ends of the main and lining sleeve so that the right sides will be facing. Like so, then pull the sleeve out while still holding both sleeves ends.
spin it all the way around and sew it down. It should look like this if you did it correctly. Now to prevent the lining from moving where you take the clothing on or off, you can blind stitch the sleeve into place or sew in the seam. What I'm going to do for the same reason is to sew only the underarm seam of the lining and the main fabric together with some couple back stitches and that should work. You can also do the shoulders, but I didn't do it. Now for the bottom part, I'm going to make pleats. Basically what you need to do is to fold one part to the next part, where you see the marking that will be folded. I was originally planning to gather the fabric, but since I skipped the zipper, I decided to do pleats instead. So it will be easier to stretch out the fabric when I'm sewing. Now pin the bottom part to the bodice, first sew the side seams together and then sew the bottom to the bodice after. The last step is to hem the edges. I'm going to leave it like this since I'm only going to wear this once. If you want to give the bottom part also a lining, you can attach it to the bodice. I tried the dress on, it was kinda hanging at the back so I fixed that problem with elastic and now it looks better on. If you're going to try this DIY, make sure to tag me on Instagram.